Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Doc from SampleKings.com. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to get stems out of our MPC software so we can use them in Ableton Live, Logic Pro, FL Studio, Studio One, you know, get each one of these pads to become a separate track and any other door you wanna use it in. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, of course, is because the MPC is not really a great mixing system, but there's one in here. I'll show you that right now. I can go right to here. I'll click here. Here's my mixing. I'm gonna press this side here and expand it out. I have a mixing system right here, right? Let's go back to my main screen. It's good, but it's not as good as the other softwares. So what I wanna do here is set this up. So I've got each one of these pads has a sound on them, right? And you'll notice here that on the left-hand side here, I'm uh, in pad channel. This has been selected. And right here we have, this is the bottom panel. I can hide it or show it in the software. And of course, this is my mixer. So I wanna see these pads have enough output, right? So I'll come to here, I'll hit every pad, you know, and make sure my audio output's loud enough. As I hit them, you can see, it's all there, right? Now, I can also do this from the mixing board. I might come back here to my mixer. Here it is here. You'll see at the very top, we have three different options. So this option here to the right is shows pad and it shows channel mixers together. So I've got the pad right here. I'll click right here. And you see this is pads also. I can pull this down to here like this and i can see that right just the pads i can pull up here i can see the channel mixer either way i can get a good view of anything and so here i may just want to see the actual mixer but i want to see the pads in this case and so i have pads here as you can see now i can hit a pad right here in the bottom and the pads are right there let's scroll over here and i can come to here right stop it and stuff's dying out here, of course, obviously. Let's go back over to here. I'm going to select stop everything. So I've got everything lined up. So what I wanna do next is I want to export to a folder, all these stems. So here's audio mix down. And when I do audio mix down, I would like to explode, but I can't I only have one track. So let's go back to here, let's uh, cancel this. You'll see here my track list there's only one track so what i need to do i need to take every one of these pads and make these pads into tracks let's do this real simply i'm gonna come to here i'm going to go to edit go to track and go to here which is explode click that one time notice here that track one has been muted let's go to the next track well look at that we got a bunch of tracks now we have 17 tracks. So the first track, which is the original, has been muted because the other 16 tracks are the actual pads as separate tracks. Great way. So now what I wanna do right now, I'm getting ready to send this out. So I'm gonna go into here and we're gonna head over to export. I'm gonna go to audio mix down. I click here, so now I can do this. Now, normally I would just do this. I would have two track left and right, and I would have just a, a mix down of what's right there in this whole song. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna explode these tracks out into separate stems. Now, of course, I have my file format here, which is gonna be WAVE. The bit depth's gonna be 24. I want 40, let's do 48 here for our sample rate. And then, of course, it's from bar one to bar 12. A little bit of audio tail at the end here in case there's some extra delay or something going on with the sound. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna press export. Now it's asking me where, right? So I want to go to my desktop. I got a special folder for that, and it's my boom folder, the boom bat folder here. I'll click on this. Oh, there's already files in here, right? So I did a little test before, so I'm not good. I'm gonna go back and cancel this. I'm gonna go to here, get rid of that. I'll go back to my boom folder, which is right here. So let's know where your folder's at also, because then you know where to find it. I got that there, I'm gonna go back here and delete that out of here on my Mac. Perfect. I'll close this up, get back to my MPC software again. I'll go right back into file, I go back to 
audio mix down. I'll come to here. Right, my settings are good right here, right now. And that's good. I'll press export. And of course, I want to go to that boom folder. So I'll come to here. I'm going to go to the desktop. I get the desktop. And here's boom bap. I'll open this up. And now it's empty. Perfect. But I'm going to call this something else. I'm going to call this right here. I'm going to call these things here. It's going to be wave. I'll just call it boom. Or the boom. Perfect. And now I'll press save. And now what will happen is that the MPC software will run, of course, the entire length of this project size of this song, of this project here. And then it's going to make a file. Each file will be a separate track. And it's doing it in this time-wise where you can see it. I think it's the 128 up here. It starts again. And now it's doing track number two. It's getting all these tracks locked in. So I can have these tracks as files. Now once this is done, I can take all those files. And I'm going to take it and put it in different software. But right now, this is just about using Logic. Because Logic is different as any of the software is. And we're just going to wait till we get all these files piled up. And then we're good to go. So once I've got logic up, it's pretty simple. And I got this right here. So now I've moved logic over from here and over to here now. You'll see in the background here, I've got these files. I want to just grab them and bring them into logic. So I want to make sure I can see logic clearly, at least this part of logic right here. And I want to grab these files that are in that folder. And I'll drag them over here. I want to go to the top. So I get to the very top up here. And I want to go right to the very top right there and let go. And I want to create new tracks. I want to make sure that all selected files are stems from one project. And so a smart tempo multi-track set will be created for this. I'll press OK. And now it's analyzing everything. And then it's going to take these files and they're going to stick them right here. Into, there you go, right there. All these files are right here now inside of Logic. That's pretty cool. Now I can also test them. See the levels right here? Bring that down. I can test them, see what's going on. I'm using a specific software too to order, hear this audio back. And I may want to come into here and do Telestream like this. I'll press apply and do that so we hear this inside the video. There it is. So it's pretty simple to do that. Now the reason why I'm here, of course, is I want to press X here. I want to make sure I can use my mixer. And here's my mixer in Logic. And I can use that right here. As you can see right there, all these tracks have been selected already. They're all audio files, really. That's all they really are. And you'll see that here on the edge. These are all audio files. Well, it's funny how sometimes it'll see some stuff. It'll say, no, not audio. And it puts this boom, boom right here in this thing here. I have no idea why it does that. But they're all blues. So they're all audio files. It hears back the track and puts a little symbol next to it. Now, if you got any questions about this, let me know. I'm Doc from SampleKings.com, as you know, here on YouTube. And please subscribe. We know 90% of the viewers do not subscribe. We'd love to tap that subscribe button. It will help us grow the channel so I can keep making new videos. A lot more videos are coming, including, of course, Logic Pro, Ableton Live, full, long, long video series, over five hours. And, of course, SP404 Mark II as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Any questions, hit me up. And also, if you want to actually get lessons, you can go right to here into Sample Kings right here, SampleKings.com, and you'll be able to get your lessons right here from us. It's just 16 bucks an hour for Cash App or Venmo. PayPal is a little more money, as you can see here. We got one, two, three, four hours, just a half hour if you might need just that. You can always contact us here. It says, need help? Just give me a call. Or if you want to email, you go up here. And if you want to order from the store, you go right in the store right here, and you can get here and buy your sound zoom thing right here. Get to Zoom. We sell block time. You can do 10, you can do 20 hours worth of block time in Zoom and get a cheaper rate than paying like uh, so much per hour each hour. It's easier. I realize you spend a lot of money on gear. But you also need to spend time on getting someone to help you out with that gear. A lot of stores don't do this. Music stores, that is. You know, they get you the gear, but no one's here to help you constantly. We are here to help you and to help you grow your experience with music. 
It's a lot of fun if you get it, get it right. So let me go back to here again. Remember, Samplings.com, and you can join us here. It's just $110 for a one-year subscription. We will help you out throughout the entire year, not just for a couple of months or a few days. Also, you will get over 200,000 samples free to download, unlimited, and I'm adding more soon. Any questions, hit me up. I'll see you in the next video, and thanks again.